Hi everyone, it's Rebecca, the Colorful Book Duster, and yes, new do, and new digs. <laughs> so as you can see, we are finally moved in. Uh, yeah. It's been a long time, but yet so quick. Considering that all of this stuff of us moving to Singapore only even became a possibility at the very, very beginning of March and not confirmed until the end of April. And now we're sitting in October and we are here. And this face is feeling it. But you might notice a new do. Yeah, all the hair got cut off um, when we got here. I kind of knew this was going to happen anyway. So the long hair thing, you know, why not? It grew up really great during COVID and it was easy to take care of and all of that. But once we got here and I knew this with the heat, the humidity, and just overall that this is consistently how it's going to be here, I kind of was like, you know, hmm. <laughs> Um, I've had short hair in the past. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of years that it's been on, you've seen that. Uh, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I absolutely, I'm fine. I go in and scare hairstylists all the time and just go, drop it off, all of it, off with me head. Well, hair, not head. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that's a, basically is because I can't stand hair hanging down on my neck. It makes it very, very hot. And so all I was doing was pulling it up into a ponytail or a bun or whatever just pulling it up off my neck and uh, and I want to be able to go swimming and I don't want my hair drying out and the whole palava of taking care of uh, not so much long hair but hair with any type of color so I've completely gone away from color trying to go gray as soon as it'll go uh, let it go on its own I figured the sun here will do its own natural highlighting if there's meant to be highlights I think it's already starting to do it some of this is natural so this is gray <laughs> So this is, is wisdom highlights. The highlights of my wisdom. Others are from the outside with the sun. So we're going to go for short for a while, probably for a very long while, because it's just easier, simpler uh, here in the tropics. So enough about my hair. You're not here for my hair, are you? <laughs> uh Lord, why are you here? I would think you're here because you want to find out if I've been reading or coloring or am I going to do any of this and is this channel going to yet arise from the ashes like a phoenix? Uh, yes, to all of the above. Because um, I'm going to have time now. <laughs> I'm going to have a place to do it. And I'm going to be able to be surrounded. And after packing all this stuff to Singapore, unpacking it all here and then trying to find a place for it, organize it, and just be in my face how much stuff I have uh, in regards to my hobbies. You're darn right I'm going to be coloring and, and uh, reading. <laughs> I've got a lot of reading to do and even more coloring to do. Oh. So that's mainly what you're going to be seeing going forward right now. So there is something going around uh, for November, and I'm really going to latch on to it. Uh, it is a young lady. Oh, I knew I was going to go blank on this. I've written it down. Hold on one moment, because I don't know where anything is. It's organized, but I don't know where it is. Maybe. Handy dandy planner. Did I actually put it in there? What's today, guys? Ah! No. 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 Turn more pages. Turn more pages. Oh, thank goodness. So it was in my handy dandy planner. And my handy dandy planner happened to be on the handy dandy planner shelf that I've created. At least that's what I'm calling it now because it was handy dandy. Um, so there is a booktuber uh, and the booktube channel is Covers with Cassidy. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't been following Cassidy, though I'm kind of interested and definitely want to start following her. I came across because I put in November readathons. Because I was kind of like, is anything going on in November? I knew I wasn't going to do October, but maybe November. And this one popped up, and it was perfectly and aptly named. And I thought, what a great thing for me to kind of latch on to and do a kickoff after this move. And so it's called Knock It Out November. Now, the way I was understanding how she was talking about it, and I will link that video down below for you because she's, you know, this is her color, or sorry, her readathon. Um, but the way that I understood it was basically like if you had a, a series maybe you're reading, maybe you just binge, binge read that, that series and finish it out. 
um, you know, if there's something that you've been meaning to get to, it's kind of a free read-a-thon uh, to let your moods kind of take you where you want to go, but also with a little bit of focus. It is highly, highly unstructured. She does give you lots of suggestions, and I think she even has a Google Doc suggesting what you may or may not want to do. But I took this as Knock It Out November is my get her done. So I actually have a shelf on Goodread reads that is get her done. I, I I didn't realize, especially in the last two years, how disjointed my reading and coloring have been and how interrupted I've been. So I've really not been getting through a lot of books, reading the way I normally did. I mean, I used to do my TBR with my tic-tac-toe, which I am bringing back in November, baby. <laughs> Oh my God, what was that? What was that? Anyway, been away way too long. Can you tell? Yeah, you can tell. Um, so, <laughs> but um, basically I am planning on taking this as my boost and I'm taking it as knock it out November as in finishing works in progress, which means both my books in my reading and in my coloring. Um, one thing is when I was unpacking every one of my books, every single one of them I looked at, of course, because I was unpacking them, haven't seen some of these in over a year and a half, two years almost now. And so it was kind of eye opening to me at what books I still had that I haven't read. And I created again on my book reads shelves, uh, a shelf completely that says SG TBR. So that's my Singapore TBR. And what I want that shelf to keep reminding me is that we bloomin shipped all of those books on that TBR uh, to the other side of the world. So if I thought they were important enough to do that, I should be picking them up and at least starting them and seeing if there's something I want to read. So I need to really focus on it. So I am continuing with just focusing on my TBR. I will be doing the same thing with my book Tic-Tac-Toe, which is basically, you know, when we go in uh, November, I'll put up another video of it, but it's a randomized way that I put in like, I think it's 61 books I have on that list. So I put one through 61 and then I randomize and whatever number comes up that's adjacent to that Goodreads book is the one of the, the nine books that's going to be sitting on my shelves for me to read. Now, I don't read nine books in a month. I have never, well, I'm not going to say never. I bet there was one month I found a way, but I've never, I think, even gotten close to that. My Good, amazing reading months normally are four to five months, and at least one, if not two of those, are audiobooks, listening to them, so I can listen to them while I'm doing other things. Um, but my typical is, typically, I'm going to say three to four. When I develop my Goodreads, like, goal, I put it at three a month, so I always put it, like, at 36. I'm hoping this year for 2023 to move it up and really try for 48, but I'm, I'm not sure. I need to just get back into my reading because it's been very, very splintered and very, very distracted in the last couple of years. And uh, I need to you know, give myself a little time to get back into it. So uh, now where was I going? Oh, so that Tic-Tac-Toe, <laughs> didn't know where I was going with that one. Book Tic-Tac-Toe will be coming back in November and I'll be taking you along as I get that set up. The other thing is the coloring. I will sit down and show you which ones I'm thinking I'm going to be finishing. Um, I'm going to start trying that once a week, kind of doing a color and chat kind of catch up kind of thing. So, um, so color and chat, my weekly color and chat is going to be coming back and that's going to be trying to not necessarily get through a whole page in a week. Uh, but I have a lot of things I kind of like to finish. So I thought we'd have a chance for me to finish those. You can see the end product and then we can kind of see where I go and maybe have a pretty clean slate by the end of the year. So basically that's what my, my version of Knock It Out November is going to look like is working on reading books that I've already started and just haven't finished for whatever reason. Not ones that I want, I'm not enjoying and I probably should DNF. These are all ones I started and something's interrupted them and some of them are from years ago and I'm like as I was bringing them out I'm like oh my gosh I was reading this but and I liked it what happened and I don't know um so that's the plans going forward I hope you're going to join me there was nothing for me to show here other than I have my books and my colors all around me again and I'm feeling much more settled because it's been very very confusing and very um stifling almost not having this creative outlet but I think we're ready to hit the mark going 
be watching this space. I'm hoping to start having some more coloring videos, like I said, and also, of course, more book discussions. I have a couple net gallery reviews and some pretty good books, actually, to recommend on that. And I'm looking forward to finishing up some books in November, and we'll see how that tic tac toe spans out. Hopefully, it, it will also mirror what I'm trying to do. Uh, fingers crossed. So... <laughs> anyway, so that's my plan so far. This is the end of October. I'm going to start looking towards November. You're going to be seeing my November TBR. You're going to be seeing my coloring, what I'm planning on doing, and then hopefully you start seeing some weekly chats, color and chats coming along the way. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and thank you for waiting for this, but we are now live in Singapore. Yay! <laughs> I'm very, very excited. As always, bye for now, and remember, keep coloring and turning those pages. Wake up, it's gonna be a good day. Wake up.